Hi guys, I'm Raccoon. The anime recap I'm going to share today is to Love Rue. This is definitely the most exciting harem anime ever. The male protagonist Rito is a high school student who has good relationships with girls, and he has gained more than a dozen harems as soon as he appears. During this period, he will meet a sudden situation every time he falls. Either he sees the girl's underwear, or touches the girl's private parts. The most exaggerated thing is that he also becomes the prey of an alien princess, sleeping in the same bed with the princess every day, facing the sexy alien princess, and all kinds of beauties. Who will Rito choose? Let's watch the enviable harem life of the protagonist together. The story begins on a planet named Devaluk. Devaluk is the most powerful planet in the universe. Princess Rara drives a spaceship to Earth in order to escape her royal marriage. When the spaceship is about to land, the male protagonist Rito is preparing to confess his love to the girl he likes. Since the second year of junior high school, Rito has been secretly in love with a female classmate named Haruna. At that time, the flowers of the school were maliciously destroyed. Rito was the one who discovered the scene. Because Rito had a shovel in his hand, everyone thought that he destroyed the campus landscaping. While all the classmates blamed Rito, only Haruna believed that he didn't damage the landscaping. Rito felt that Haruna was very different from others and gradually developed a crush on her. But unexpectedly, whenever he is ready to confess, he will be interrupted by accidents. Rito refuses to give up and vows to confess to Haruna today. But he never expects that his confession would be stopped by a spaceship. Rito's friend Kenichi thinks Rito's too shy and tells him to find ways to boost immunity to the girls. Rito knows he doesn't get along well with girls but doesn't know how to change it. That's when Rara suddenly appears in front of him. Because of the limited space of the bathtub, Rito accidentally touches Rara's private parts. It is an experience Rito has never had before, and he feels shy. And then, Rara walks into Rito's room. She explains that she is an alien and shows her tail. Rara comes to Earth to avoid pursuers. She has a bracelet that can help her move instantaneously. She appears in the bathtub because the bracelet can't specify the destination. Rara carries a small robot with her, using the robot's dressing function. Rara changes into her own clothes. Immediately afterward, several aliens break into the room and prepare to capture Rara. Rito, fearing that Rara would be in danger, hurriedly runs with her outside. But what he doesn't know is that Haruna sees him and Rara and thinks it is very strange. Although Rito wants to help Rara, he is too weak to win in front of powerful aliens. At this time, an alien named Zastan appears. He is the captain of the Royal Guard, responsible for protecting Rara. Rito learns that Rara is running away from her marriage and regrets taking her out. Like Zastan says, these aliens won't harm Rara. But Rara does not want to go home and uses props to arrest all the aliens. After a chaotic night, Rito meets Haruna on his way to school. Rito feels it is a good opportunity to confess his feelings for her and show Haruna his heart. Unfortunately, Rara walks right to Rito. Rara, who misunderstands that Rito is confessing to her, immediately decides to marry him. Rara doesn't care about what Rito thinks and sleeps in his bed that night. Rito's sister Mikan misunderstands that they have an intimate interaction and hurries out of the room. Rito doesn't want to marry Rara, but when he sees Rara crying, he can't refuse her. At this time, Zastan breaks into the room and explains the marriage contract. According to Devaluk's system, Rito touches Rara's private parts and must marry her. The person Rito likes is Haruna, and he never thinks about marrying Rara. He is afraid that Haruna would take his relationship with Rara the wrong way and wants to explain it to her first. But before he can do anything, Rara appears at the school. Rara is popular with boys with her cute appearance. Rara claims that she is Rito's bride, and all the boys are jealous of Rito. In order to avoid the group of male high school students, Rito takes Rara to escape. They run to a dead end and have to use Rara's bracelet to escape. But the bracelet can only transport the bodies, not including the clothes. Rito and Rara are moved into the closet. Haruna is changing clothes in the dressing room. She sees Rito and Rara, mistakenly thinking that they have an intimate interaction. Rito is wronged by someone he likes and feels very sad. He returns home and finds that Zastan has become friends with Mikan. Rito doesn't want to marry Rara and secretly asks Zastan how to break the contract. Zastan tells Rito that if he can touch Rara's private part by 8 pm tomorrow, they will be able to cancel the marriage contract. Rito tries many times but fails. At half past 7 in the evening, Rito makes an appointment with Rara. Rara is thrilled to make a marriage contract with Rito. She is not free in the royal family since no one cares about her feelings. To her, Rito is a very special person. When they first met, he desperately protected her. Rara has a crush on Rito and is not averse to marrying him. Rito doesn't expect Rara to be really into him and doesn't know how to reject her. When Rito hesitates, it is 8 o'clock in the evening and he loses the opportunity to cancel the engagement. Rito is tormented by the marriage contract so much that he can only relax at school. But he never expects that Rara would become his classmate as a transfer student. Rito can't change Rara's mind, only reminding her not to expose her alien identity and keep low-key at school. But Rara is so beautiful. Whatever she does, she can get the attention of her classmates. Just when Rito is upset by Rara, he meets Haruna. Rito wants to explain his relationship with Rara. 
but Haruna always remembers the picture of him and Rara together and thinks they are very well matched. Rito thinks he is rejected by Haruna and feels very sad. Mikan sees that Rito is in a bad mood and asks him to take Rara out to relax. Rito feels that Rara's outfit is not appropriate for shopping and asks her to change into regular clothes. With Rito's company, Rara has a great day. Unfortunately, Rara's robot runs out of energy and can no longer provide her with clothes. Rito is afraid that Rara is naked, and hurriedly leads her into a clothing store. Because Haruna is shopping for clothes at the store, she meets Rito and Rara. Mikan explains that Rara is from abroad and they are taking her around the city. But Rito and Rara's relationship still doesn't make sense to her. Rito is so anxious that he doesn't even dare to look at Haruna's face. During this time, Rara is attracted by the aquarium's advertisement and comes to visit the aquarium with them. Mikan discovers that Rito likes Haruna and makes a chance for them to be alone. At this time, Haruna suddenly grabs Rito. Haruna tells Rito that she thinks he is very gentle and that she has been quietly paying attention to him. After learning Haruna's thoughts, Rito plans to confess love to her. He is about to speak when an accident suddenly occurs in the aquarium. Rara rides a whale and rams around the aquarium. Since Rito takes Haruna to escape in time, neither of them is in danger. Although Rito's love confession is interrupted, he is very happy. He and Haruna are going very well, and he believes that he will be able to be her boyfriend. Just then, Rito trips over a stone and throws himself at Haruna. Rito accidentally sees Haruna's panties, making Haruna very shy. After that, Rito learns a piece of bad news. If he marries Rara, he will become the king of Devaluk and participate in the intergalactic wars. Rito feels that intergalactic wars are too dangerous, which makes him even more resistant to the engagement. Because Rara can't cook, Rito claims to want a partner who is good at cooking. Rara has to go back to her planet if she can't do it. This is very difficult for Rara. She grows up in the royal family and never goes to the kitchen. Faced with Rito's request, Rara chooses to leave. Rito's life comes back to peace again, but he can't help but miss Rara. That's when Rara bursts into the classroom and shows him what she has learned. But Rito doesn't care about cooking. He says he's just a high school student and can't participate in intergalactic wars. Rara hurriedly tells Rito that Devaluk has many generals who are good at fighting, telling him not to worry about intergalactic wars, even if they get married, they will live on Earth. After the misunderstanding is resolved, Rara begins preparing dishes for Rito. Haruna, worried that something bad has happened to Rito, comes to check on them. Unexpectedly, Rara's high-grade refrigerator fails, and several giant sea creatures crawl out of it. Rito is trapped by a large octopus and can only wait for Zastin to free them. After the crisis is lifted, a school babe competition is held in the school. A female classmate named Saki is jealous of Rara's popularity and challenges her. Because Rara isn't showing up, Saki captures Rito and uses him to force Rara. But what she doesn't know is that Zastin has invented a robotic dog to protect Rara. The robot dog senses Saki's hostility and bites her close. Saki makes fool of herself in public, and her hatred for Rara grows. After school, Saki sneaks into Rito's room. During this time, she accidentally activates Rara's escape device, turning the room into a spaceship. Because Rara presses the wrong button, Saki falls from the spaceship. Rara grabs Saki in time to help her land on Earth. Rara's robotic dog follows Saki and crushes her clothes again. A few days later, an alien called Bree breaks into the campus. He is one of Rara's suitors and is very jealous of her fiancé Rito. In order to better infiltrate the school, Bree uses skills and turns himself into the principal. He sees that Rito likes Haruna, deliberately calls Haruna to the equipment room and asks a classmate to tell Rito. Rito arrives at the equipment room and finds Haruna tied up. Bree exposes his alien identity and forces Rito to break the engagement. If Rito refuses, he will do something to Haruna. Worried that Rito has an accident, Rara hurries to the equipment room. She doesn't expect to see Bree here and is disgusted with him. Bree is enraged by Rara and becomes even stronger. Rito asks Rara to take Haruna away, leaving him to deal with Bree. Just as Rito is about to fight Bree, Bree's body suddenly becomes smaller. In fact, Bree the alien is good at shape-shifting, but he has a very weak real body. Bree often uses his shape-shifting ability to deceive innocent girls, and even though he already has a wife and children, he has not relented. In order to solve the trouble left by Bree, Rara uses special props to send Bree and his family off Earth. Apart from Bree, Rara has a suitor named Ren. He is Rara's childhood playmate and always dresses up as a girl because he looks like a girl. Ren has loved Rara since he was a child and made a pact with her. When he becomes a real man, they will get married. Even though Rara is engaged with Rito, Ren refuses to give up. To make himself more masculine, Ren works out hard every day. There is a lot of buzz on the internet about Ren's story and he has received a lot of support. Ren dream is to be recognized by Rara. But when he finally waits for this day, he suddenly changes into a woman. It turns out that Ren has the ability called gender shift. Just one sneeze and he will become a woman. Like split personality, Ren two genders are completely independent. When she becomes a girl, her name is Lewin. Lewin likes Rito so much that she can't help but want to kiss him. Meanwhile, Saki, out of hatred for Rara, 
decides to snatch Rito from her. This chaotic scene is seen by Yui, a member of the discipline committee. She mistakenly believes that Rito has deceived many girls and causes a negative impact on the school. To bring back normal order to the school, Yui makes three rules. First, impure heterosexual relationship is strictly prohibited. Second, the dress code must be in line with the student's status. Third, all items not related to the school are confiscated. Yui believes that Rito breaks the school discipline and punishes him for not talking to girls for two weeks. Even though Rito is isolated, the discipline problem in the school is not solved. Yui suspects that she wrongs Rito and decides to observe him secretly. She finds Rito very kind. He will cry because of the love film, will take the initiative to help an old lady lift heavy objects, and will help lost children find their mothers. Yui is impressed by Rito's tenderness and apologizes to him. At this time, Rara uses a prop to summon Rito. Rito is influenced by the props and comes to Rara with Yui in his arms. Rara is very happy to find out that Rito and Yui have become friends. After that, an alien named Piccoli lands on Earth. Piccoli believes that Rito is not worthy of Rara and attacks him. For Rito's safety, Rara kicks him elsewhere. Piccoli wants to take Rara off Earth, but Rara refuses. Rara breaks Piccoli's control system, preventing him from flying. Piccoli falls and is seriously injured and meets Zastin. Under his guidance, Piccoli comes to a cosmic hospital. After treatment, Piccoli reappears in front of Rara and knocks her unconscious. Just as Piccoli is about to take Rara away, the professor at the Cosmos Hospital stops him. Rara wakes up from a coma and stuffs Piccoli into the spaceship. The professor tells them that many aliens are living on Earth and that it is her job to treat them. The professor is well aware of Rara's identity and wants her to keep a low profile and not increase her workload. But Rara's visitors keep growing. A few days later, a woman named Tesla comes to Rito's house. She is the leader of the Rara fan group and still loves Rara deeply. She never expects that Rara has engaged with Rito. In addition to being the head of the fan group, Tesla also runs an entertainment company, and Rara is her favorite artist. Because Rara may marry Rito, Tesla loses one of her most popular female artists. Tesla is angry and asks Rito to help find a new potential artist. After searching, Tesla lists Haruna as a target. To stop Tesla from taking Haruna away, Rito has to throw her down. Haruna's private part is touched by Rito and she feels very shy. Rito doesn't want Tesla to disturb Haruna and takes her home. Thankfully, Tesla receives an investigation from the Cosmos Tax Bureau. To deal with tax evasion, Tesla flies back into space. Ever since Rara came to Earth, Rito has been in trouble. A killer named Golden Darkness is commissioned to kill Rito. In front of the powerful killer, Rito can only keep running away. Zastin discovers that Rito is in danger and rushes to protect him. Unfortunately, Zastin fails to defeat Golden Darkness and falls into the sewers. To protect Rito, Rara launches an attack on Golden Darkness. Golden Darkness doesn't understand why Rara is so nice to Rito. According to the information she gets, Rito is a very evil person. He not only forces Rara but also plots to take the planet Devaluk. Rara hurriedly explains that Rito is very kind and will not hurt her. At this time, Golden Darkness's client arrives on Earth and forces her to carry out the mission as soon as possible. Golden Darkness discovers that the client has provided false information and becomes hostile to him. The client is angry and wants to teach Golden Darkness a lesson. Finally, Rara uses a special skill to kick the client away. Although the client has a bad personality, Golden Darkness has her own principles. Since she has not completed the mission, she decides to stay on Earth. A week later, the school holds a sports competition. The first event is the men's borrowing competition. According to the lottery, Rito is going to borrow sports shorts for girls. Rara doesn't understand why Rito hasn't been in action and decides to use props to help him. Pushed by the props, Rito comes to Haruna. Because Rito is targeting her shorts, Haruna gets very shy. The second event is the women's steeplechase. This is a competition of love setbacks that foreshadows difficulties that may be encountered in love. Rara meets gangsters who come to collect debts. With her great strength, she overcomes all the difficulties. The third event is the team relay. Rito wants to perform well in the game, but an accident happens. Since Ren has been holding a sword borrowed from a borrowing match, he accidentally drops it, causing the ground to crack. Haruna tries to save Rito, but her private part is accidentally touched by him. Just when Rito doesn't know how to face Haruna, he receives a notification to join Haruna in the race. The event they will participate in is water horse riding. In order to win the competition, Saki uses special props to destroy other people's swimsuits. Haruna is injured and unconscious and is taken to the infirmary by Rito. Rito tries to confess love to Haruna but is interrupted by Rara. Rara wins the competition and excitedly informs them of the good news. After the games, Rito learns big news. Zastin secretly tells Rito that the King of Devaluk is about to arrive on Earth to see if Rito qualifies to be his son-in-law. The King is Rara's father and the overlord of the universe. Rito is afraid of the King's strength and does not know how to win his favor. Since Rara arrived, Rito's life has lost its peace and he has always been caught up in various struggles. The King finds out that Rito is pestered by girls every day and puts him to the test. 
he sends a sexy beauty to seduce Rito. Unfortunately, Rito fails the test. The king is very disappointed in Rito, feeling that he is too cowardly to protect Rara. Rito can't even answer whether he likes Rara or not. When Rito's life is threatened, Rara stops the king. Rito is her favorite person, and she will not allow the king to do anything to him. But the king is still very dissatisfied with Rito. He demands that Rito be the strongest man in the universe or he will destroy Rito and the entire earth. Rito is so devastated that he locks himself in his room when he gets home. He doesn't want to give up easily and decides to work towards the goal of being the strongest in the universe. But Rito has no idea of how to become the strongest in the universe. When he goes out for a run, he meets Haruna, who is walking her dog. Rito used to like Haruna very much, but after Rara appears, his mind changes. Now even Rito himself is not sure who he likes. Haruna notices that Rito is in a bad mood and offers to run with him. From this day on, Rito runs with Haruna every week. Even if it rains, it doesn't stop his passion. Haruna has been supervising Rito's workout and has prepared bento for him. At this time, Haruna's puppy falls into the water. Rito jumps into the river and rescues the puppy. Haruna, worried about Rito might catch a cold, takes him home to take a shower. Thinking that this is Haruna's bathroom, Rito can't help but blush a little. After taking a shower, he sees pictures of them from junior high school at Haruna's house, which makes him nostalgic for the old days. Then Haruna accidentally falls. Rito falls on top of Haruna in order to grab her. The chemistry spreads out in the room. Just as Rito wants to kiss Haruna, Haruna's sister returns. Rito is startled and hurries out of Haruna's house. Rito feels very humiliated and fears that Haruna would hate him because of this. In the following story, Rara receives an important task. Rara, as a princess, needs to participate in diplomatic activities on the planet Devaluk. Zastin cannot contact the other royals and has to ask Rito and Haruna for help. Because of Zastin's show up, Rara's alien identity is also exposed to her classmates. The classmates do not discriminate against Rara, and their attitude toward her remains the same as before. This time a prince from another planet comes to visit Rara. The inhabitants of this planet are very good at hunting, and the prince also holds the title of the best hunter in the universe. Rito hears the title of the best in the universe and becomes interested in hunting. When the prince invites Rara to join the hunt, Rito offers to go with her. The prince asks them to change their clothes and choose weapons for hunting. Then they come to a primitive tribe under the arrangement of the prince. Rito encounters the dinosaur as soon as he lands, and he is frightened and has to run away. During this time, Rito meets Haruna, who is being hunted by a gorilla. The dinosaur and the gorilla fight and end with the defeat of the dinosaur. The gorilla is very curious about Haruna. It reaches out and grabs her. In order to take back Haruna, Rito launches an attack on the gorilla. At this time, a group of primitive men appears in front of them. The queen of this primitive tribe feels that Rito is very brave and wants to force him to be her husband. Fearing Rito's safety, Haruna begs the gorilla for help. Rara tries to rescue Rito but is captured by the primitives. Eventually, Haruna tames the gorilla, prompting it to rescue Rito. The prince does not expect Haruna to be able to tame the gorilla. Because Haruna's performance is so prominent, the prince gives her the title of the best hunter of the universe. Now that the story of the protagonist group is over, let's take a look at what Lewin has gone through. Lewin is madly in love with Rito. She works hard every day to become Rito's wife, but Rito never pays attention to her. While they go to the amusement park together, Lewin decides to confess her love to Rito. She follows Rito, looking for an opportunity to talk to him. At this time, several female classmates stop Lewin. Lewin is frightened and accidentally falls on Rito. Rito is pushed a few steps forward, and his ice cream falls on Yui's private part. Yui is so angry that she gives Rito a hard push. Rito falls into the grass and discovers that the Golden Darkness is stalking him. Golden Darkness's face is stained with Rito's ice cream. She warns Rito not to forget that she wants to kill him at any moment. Then, in order to be alone with Rito, Lewin plans to solve the female classmates who are hindering her. Lewin intends to steal their swimsuits, but she is unlucky and always steals Rito's swimsuit. Lewin has no choice but to release a school of piranhas. These piranhas do not bite. They like to eat fibrous materials, such as swimsuits. To stop piranhas, Rara pulls out her fishing props, but she doesn't expect that Lewin is also caught in the fishing net. Yui asks Lewin why she does this. Lewin glances at Rito and can't say anything. Rito says that it has nothing to do with him and he doesn't know what Lewin is thinking. Lewin thinks Rito is very cold to her and feels sad. However, she still refuses to give up on Rito. Lewin feels that only by becoming a star can she get Rito's attention. At this point, Lewin is stopped by several gangsters. Rito and his female classmates arrive in time to save Lewin. Lewin finds that the girls around Rito are kind and thanks them. Although the trip to the amusement park is over, the love war has just begun. After that, there are ghost rumors in the school's old school building. Rara, who is interested in ghosts, decides to go to the old school building to check on the situation. Rito and Haruna are scared but still make it to the old school building with Rara. As they enter the old school building, there is a sudden sound of footsteps in the room. 
Rito plucks up the courage to step forward to check on the situation, only to find that it is Golden Darkness. Golden Darkness comes to the library to read books, because Rito touches her private parts, she is very angry. At this time, Yui, as a member of the discipline committee, comes to stop their expedition. Just as they are arguing with each other, strange piano songs suddenly sound around them. Because the piano suddenly moves, Golden Darkness cuts the piano with a weapon. At this time, a skeleton appears in front of them, yelling at them to go out. Rara is curious about how the skeleton speaks and takes its head off. Several unknown creatures emerge from the skeleton and form a huge monster. The monster's combat power is so strong that both Rara and Golden Darkness are caught by it. Haruna is so frightened that she uses Rito as a weapon and smashes him at the monster. The monster is hit hard, revealing its original form. They are a group of aliens who have nowhere to go. Because they can't find jobs, they gather in this old school building. The professor discovers the aliens and decides to help them find jobs. After the aliens leave, the real ghost appears. She has been dead for 400 years. Because aliens sing every day, she can't rest well. But what she doesn't expect is that the aliens are having employment problems. The cosmic haunted house is converted into a cosmic tavern, recruiting only female aliens. Because they are all males, they have to go back to the old school building. The ghost believes that as long as male aliens have femininity, they can work in taverns. With the help of the ghost, the temperament of the male aliens has changed significantly. The tavern owner is very satisfied and hires them to work for the tavern. After the ghost event, Rara receives a cosmic courier containing a giant alien. She comes to assassinate Rara. Rara's clothes are destroyed, revealing her private parts. Thankfully, Rara's robot is not damaged and gets Rara changed again. Just as the aliens are preparing to attack Rara, she suddenly becomes abnormal. It turns out that the alien is pregnant, and in order to raise the child in her belly, she accepts the task of assassinating Rara. Because of the special circumstances, they have to send her to the infirmary. Rara and Rito also have to go back to the classroom, and Kenichi, the health commissioner, is left behind. Kenichi takes good care of the alien. With his help, the alien gives birth to a child safely, but he never expects that the alien would actually like him because of this. Rara, who thinks it's a good thing, wants to give Kenichi to the aliens. Kenichi is forcibly taken as a gift, but he does not want to be a partner with an alien and can only lie about having a girlfriend. Then, Kenichi launches a crazy love confession operation, but every confession he makes ends in failure. Kenichi has no choice but to ask Haruna. Haruna is a very kind girl and is very friendly to Kenichi. She is about to say yes to Kenichi, but Rito stops her. Rito doesn't want Haruna and Kenichi to pretend to be a couple. For the sake of someone he likes, he decides to pretend to be a couple with Kenichi. Kenichi, fearing that Rara would be sad, rejects Rito. Finally, Kenichi comes to the infirmary with a puppy. The alien has left. She knows that Kenichi doesn't like her and wants him to be happy. Kenichi misses the alien and feels very sorry. A few days later, Rara sees an advertisement for a hot spring on TV. To soak in the hot springs, Rara invents a detector and prepares to search for hot springs underground. The students are very interested in the hot springs and come to Rito's house. Led by Rara, they sit on an underground excavator. They find a lot of treasure underground, but Rara isn't interested in it. She just wants to soak in the hot springs and has no idea about the treasure. They are lucky and it doesn't take long for them to discover hot springs underground. For the girls, it's like a paradise. Rara wants to build a hot spring in Rito's yard and sets off in search of a bigger one. Haruna is left alone to soak in the hot springs. She is bored and wants Rito to accompany her. That's when Rara's excavator penetrates the lava layer, causing a volcanic eruption. The hot spring program is terminated and they have to escape the underworld. What follows is Kyuko's story. She is a magic girl and the protagonist from Rara's favorite anime. By chance, Kyuko discovers an evil organization trying to conquer Earth. The leader of the organization is a general. He uses magic to turn everyone's hairstyles into afro hair. In order to stop the general's plan, Kyuko fights him. During this time, the general accidentally sees Kyuko's private part. While he is shy, Kyuko defeats him with a fire attack. But Kyuko violates fire ordinances and is arrested by the fire chief. The chief's purpose is to have intimate interaction with Kyuko. Kyuko discovers the chief's intention and lectures him hard. Then Kyuko meets the general and his mother. The general is abused by Kyuko and goes home crying to complain to his mother. At this time, the chief wants to help mediate the situation. The general discovers that he is bald and uses magic to give him afro hair. The director is very touched and becomes friends with the general. But the general does not give up his conquest of the earth, and he and Kyuko fight fiercely. These are the stories of the magic girl Kyuko. Rara likes Kyuko very much, but Rito finds the anime very boring. Now that the magic girl story is over, let's take a look at what Rara has been through. Since there are no hotels on earth for aliens, Rara decides to help build some. Their target is the old school building. Through the efforts of Rara and Rito, the old school building is changed into an alien hotel. In order to host all kinds of aliens, Rara and Rito have to recruit employees. Apart from the ghost, Golden Darkness and Yui also become waiters at the end. 
During this time, a group of aliens arrives at the hotel, preparing to attack the planet Devaluk. Rara finds them discussing Devaluk and is very curious. The alien leader discovers that the plan is exposed and attacks Rara. Based on the special props, Zastin senses that Rara is in danger. He rushes to the hotel and fights the aliens. Although their fight ends in a draw, the hotel is damaged and forced to close its business. A week later, the school will hold a cultural festival. Kenichi takes into account the suggestions of his classmates and decides to open an animal tea cafeteria. Students play animals to serve the customers of the cafeteria. When preparing the outfits, Rara wants to help with her high-tech props. Rito reminds Rara that the most important thing about a festival is teamwork, and everyone preparing together will make things more interesting. The cosplay costumes of the female classmates are very cute. Rito loves both Haruna and Rara's looks. On the day of the cultural festival, a female classmate suddenly takes leave. Because she is so petite, Rara enlists Golden Darkness for help. The Animal Tea Cafeteria is adored by the whole school. The next story is about Kenichi's dream. Kenichi travels back to the Edo period and is assassinated by Haruna. During this time, he accidentally sees Haruna's private parts and is kicked to the center of the city. Because this is Kenichi's dream, he gets to see a lot of exciting images. At this time, Yui thinks that Kenichi is disturbing the discipline and arrests him. During the Edo period, Kenichi experiences a series of tragedies. Kenichi wakes up from the nightmare and meets Rara in the classroom. Rara invents the sleeping machine. Kenichi is influenced by the machine and returns to his dreams. Kenichi is unknowingly sentenced to death by Yui. After escaping from prison, Kenichi meets Mikan and becomes her pet. This is the beginning of his misfortune. At the end of the dream, Kenichi is captured by Rara and becomes food for aliens. Now that the sideline is over, let's go back to the protagonist's group. On this day, Rara suddenly becomes shy. While Ren confesses love to her, Rara hides behind Rito. Rito finds Rara very cute and can't help but blush in front of her. The doctor tells Rito that Rara has a cosmic cold and that her personality might change. Fortunately, this cold will not affect Earthlings. When the vaccine arrives, she will be able to recover. But Rara's cold is getting worse, and her personality changes every day. During this time, she not only makes bento for Rito but also has the idea of conquering the Earth. She has found her classmates at school and is ready to use the robot army to declare war on the world. Just as Rara is about to destroy the planet, Rito gets the vaccine. In order to stop Rara, Rito decides to confess love to her. He tells Rara that he likes her as she was. Because of Rito's love confession, Rara's cold is cured. Just then, the king takes away Rara. He is dissatisfied with Rito's confession to Rara. To stop them from being together, he challenges Rito. The challenge will officially begin tomorrow. If Rito doesn't reach the spaceship before sunset, the king will destroy the entire planet. The fate of the planet is in Rito's hands, which is a huge challenge for him. Rito's family has supported him and believes that he will not put the planet in crisis. Before the challenge begins, Rito and Haruna have a conversation. He wants to confess love to Haruna, but he is too nervous to say anything. In the end, Rito decides to wait for the challenge to be over before thinking about the relationship. After that, Rito heads to the spaceship under everyone's watch. During this time, he encounters various difficulties. Rito knows it is a test from the king and can only try to persevere until the end. Because the challenge rules don't say he can't ask for help, Rito enlists the help of his friends. Then, their car hits a ground obstacle and can't move on. Rito abandons his car and gets into Saki's helicopter. But the king's test continues, and the helicopter is attacked by an unknown obstacle and is about to crash. At this time, Golden Darkness uses special skills to save the helicopter. For them, the most important thing is Rito's safety. Rito is sent to a safe spot, and the others remain to deal with the monster's attacks. Before arriving at the spaceship, Rito encounters the greatest difficulty. He enters the fantasy realm and meets Rara and Haruna. This is a huge temptation for Rito, but he is not deceived by the illusion, and at the call of Haruna and Rara, he finally comes to his senses. Rito quickly heads to the spaceship and reaches the finish line at the last minute. To celebrate Rito's victory, the king throws a wedding for them, but he never expects that Rara would take the initiative to dissolve the marriage contract. Rara doesn't want to bind Rito with marriage restraints, she decides to erase everyone's memories of her, and then appear to them with a new identity. But Rara's invention doesn't work, and Rito welcomes her along with her classmates. At the end of the story, Rito wants to confess love to Haruna, but is stopped by her. Rito loves both Haruna and Rara. For him, this is the best ending. The whole anime ends here. The worldview of to love Ru is very interesting. In the anime world, every character is very gentle. Although they have different personalities, they share a common trait of loving the world and everyone around them. There is a lot of trust between them, and all contradictions can be resolved gently. Even aliens of all forms will not be discriminated against. To that, I just want to say that Rito is so blessed. I adore every girl around him. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Your support is what motivates me to keep updating my videos. Bye.